I'm gonna give you five of the best drills to use for speed training and we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, it's Dane Miller from GarageStrength.com and if this is your first time to the channel and you are interested in everything behind sports performance, you wanna learn how you can get stronger, you wanna learn how you can be more explosive, you wanna learn how you can be a better athlete, make sure that you comment down below with whatever it is you're training for, you like, you subscribe, and make sure you ring that notification bell. So over the last decade, we've had a lot of athletes come through our doors that get tested on the 40 they get tested on a 60 if they're a baseball player they get tested in various speed drills if they're playing soccer or lacrosse and what we found is we found that there's five key drills that we use all the time to help improve speed on the field and to carry over the strength work that we're doing into the gym so it transfers very well to the field exercise number one wall sprints we like to use wall sprints where we give auditory cues on their drive phase. Drive those knees up, make sure that our athletes are landing semi-flexed in the ankle where the heel is not touching, but midfoot to front foot is touching. Because during that drive phase, they've got to have a powerful lean forward and they've got to have a strong shin angle to increase speed and ultimately enhance their acceleration. The faster we can get to top end speed, the faster we will be when we're doing these tests. We like to do these three to five times a week as simple drills to increasing our plant during the drive phase. That second key drill is a 15 yard sprint. I typically would say utilize a 10 yard sprint, but a lot of times what we've seen is that athletes, when they do the 10 yard sprint, they're only focusing on their start and that first plant step. When we trigger that as a 15 yard drill, they typically actually run through 10 yards more effectively. So we wanna see our athletes try to master their starting position off the line. So if we're in a 40 or we're, we're in a 60, now all of a sudden we can master that starting position and we can master the first three to five steps during that sprint. And those are the key steps that enhance our acceleration to get to top end speed as quickly as possible. So it's very difficult for non-sprinters to actually comprehend what the technique is with a start, what the technique is for the first three to five steps. And when you're utilizing that 15 yard sprint, now all of a sudden these non-sprinters, people who are football players or lacrosse players, soccer players, they start to notice the technique aspect behind coming off the line and being aggressive through the drive phase. That third drill we like to use is they stumble reflex A skips, okay? So A skips are a very, very good drill to help teach athletes to be a little quicker off their feet, to, to feel the rhythm of movement, to feel that dynamic trunk control. But now what we like to utilize is that we switch our feet earlier in that A skip and that helps us master that stumble reflex. That's something that you can check out the video down in the description where we go deep into that stumble reflex and this is a key component to running faster. That fourth drill, plate snatch to box. This is another reflexive strength drill that we love to utilize, four to six sets, two to three reps on each side and what this helps us learn is reflexive movement. So oftentimes when we're constantly doing maximal voluntary contractions, we start to lose some reflexes. We start to ignore various primal reflexes that help us run faster. And by utilizing these reflexive strength exercises, we can make sure that we're still able to take that maximal strength that we're gaining and apply it at top end speed. That last drill, this is the best drill for running at top end speed, the wicket drills. Remember, click down below in the description if you wanna learn more in depth behind the wicket drill, but we love using this to teach front side mechanics. When we're running through the wickets, we force ourselves to have more upright posture. We force ourselves to have that high heel recovery. We have better knee placement, knee flexion, and hip flexion. Our plant leg is much stiffer and we create then a greater ground reaction force. And when we have greater ground reaction force at top end speeds, we're gonna run faster. I recommend doing anywhere from six 
to 15 wicket drills once or twice a week to really work on that front side mechanics. If you want to learn how to continue to run faster, you can click on the link down in our description. That's going to get you to the How to Get Faster 12 Week Speed Training Program, where we utilize all of this information in a periodized plan. If you want to find out more information about this content, you can click on this video right here to watch that Wicket Drills video. Until next time, guys, peace.